What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Unemployed Cyclist. Today's a good day, it's Saturday, so that means that I get to go out and go to a place that is further away from home than just up the street. And uh, it's New Helmet Day. Uh, after my crash uh, Monday of this week, six days ago, uh, I broke my helmet and so I grabbed a couple of new helmets and I want to show them off to you. So, first is a helmet that I've been wearing for a year now, the Aether Mips from Jiro. And then I have the Manifest, which is my first ever true mountain bike helmet. In this video, I'm going to be concentrating on the helmet that I know, the Aether. Um, I've been wearing Giro helmets for the better part of a, you know, 15 years, probably. Um, they've always been great. I started with about a $70 helmet, and I've worked my way up to their top-of-the-line lid. So uh, prior to this, I had one identical color, identical size, identical make. Uh, and then previous, I had a series of Giro Aeon helmets, which is their previous top-of-the-line helmet. The reason I go with top-of-the-line helmets is that they're cheaper than my head. I am very accident-prone, as you saw from my last video. Um, you know, I have scars all over. I've had multiple concussions from crashing. Um, and uh, a lot of it is just me being clumsy. So let's get into the Aether uh, MIPS. So let's get it open. Yeah. Pretty minimal packaging. I really like that. Um, you know, you have two recyclable cardboard boxes and you have your warranty information. Won't need that for today. Uh, let's get it out of its bag and we will take a quick look at it and what the features are. So I like the Aether because it fits my head well. That's number one with a helmet. Um, you're gonna be in it a lot. Make sure it's super comfortable. Uh, I've tried on cask helmets. I've tried on Bontrager helmets. I have tried on Oakley helmets. And for my shape head, the Giro works the best. Um, it is uh, very well ventilated, uh, has a ton of airflow. Uh, I'm not a personal fan of aero helmets because I do run very warm. Um, I went to school in a very cold place and so living in Southern California, I struggle with heat rejection. Uh, I really overheat easily. So uh, having a ton of ventilation is very important. All right, so what you run into, this is my old helmet. You can still see some of the dirt that's on the front from my crash on Monday. What you run into when you sweat a lot in these helmets and you um, don't take care of them as you should, which is something I'm very guilty of, um, we'll see if you can actually see this. But see along this edge, how it's all starting to be eaten away? That's my sweat eating at that. Um, I was unaware that sweat was super caustic, uh, but yeah, if you don't have all that extra foam in there to uh, absorb sweat and be able to take it out and wash it, um, your sweat will actually start to pit and degrade the, uh, the helmet material, that styrofoam. Um, I have lost helmets because of this. Um, you know, it, as it degrades, you can see it happens on both sides. It happens in the back. I've had it happen. I have a helmet uh, that I have just as a spare in case something like this happens where I crash and I can't get a helmet for a few days, um, where this section up here starts getting eaten away by sweat. And uh, that's dangerous because it, uh, it damages the, uh, uh, the energy absorption capabilities of your helmet, uh, makes them less safe to ride in. So I've actually retired helmets because of that sweat early. I like to wear helmets for between two and three years. Um, and once you hit about the three year mark, that's about industry standard for uh, environmental degradation. So even if you don't crash, um, you know, the styrofoam will start to dry out. It loses some of its energy absorption capabilities and, uh, and it becomes more and more dangerous to wear. So at the three year mark, um, you know, August, 2023, if I haven't broken these helmets, I'll replace them again, even if they look just fine. Um, don't think if you have a helmet that's sitting in your garage that's 20 years old, it's still safe to use. So one of the most important considerations outside of ventilation on either helmet 
that I always look for is weight. Uh, in a long rides, four, five, six hours when I'm in shape, uh, the less weight that I'm carrying on my head, the less I have to think to hold a helmet up, uh, the better. It's more enjoyable, it's, uh, it's you know, more comfortable. So we're gonna compare weights on helmets. We have, again, my brand new Giro Aether, size large, they claim 327 grams in weight. We have a Giro Manifest mountain biking helmet. You can see it is a bit beefier in the back. Uh, that is to uh, yeah, protect the base of your skull in mountain biking specific accidents. Also a size large, fits me well. I got a big head. Uh, they claim 370 grams for the weight right out of the box. So I have a very simple food scale. Not sure how accurate it actually is, but we're going to put it on the table, zero it out, and let's grab the camera while we weigh things. So, so there we go. We're going to set the manifest on first. We have 300, let's get the strap in there fully. We have 399 grams. So a little bit heavier than their claimed weight of 370 grams by 29 grams. The other one that we have is the Giro Aether. Now the Aether has a claimed weight of 327 grams. So this is size large. Let's see what it comes out at. Make sure we have our straps in. 341 grams. So that is a difference of 14 grams. They are much closer on their road helmet versus their mountain bike helmet, but both are pretty darn lightweight. And then the other thing that's really cool about this helmet is its MIPS. So what that means, there's two types of impact that you're going to deal with when riding a bicycle. Like I dealt with in my last crash, uh, a uh, just a blunt force trauma where I hit straight on the front and crushed in the front of the helmet. And there was no, uh, it was just a linear acceleration. So I hit and all the force came back through my head. The other type is if you hit on your side and you snap your neck one way or the other. That's rotational. And so that's what the MIPS is designed for. So if you can see this line that runs around the edge of the helmet, that this is actually a two-piece design where when you have that kind of rotational force, the inner is going to break away from the outer and absorb that energy, reducing the severity of your concussion. So, that is the uh, the uh, Aether MIPS helmet. I'll throw it on so you can laugh at me looking funny in a helmet. Because we all look funny in helmets. So, first time out of the box. So when I, so there we go. That's what it looks like on. What you saw me messing with just there is this retention clasp. What I've noticed with the Giro Aether specifically, um, I haven't, this is my first MIPS helmet, I can't speak to their other ones, is that the retention mechanism, this rock lock, I think they call it, um, it is quite snug when you tighten it down appropriately. And if you try and take it off without loosening it, loosening it you can start to um, experience some separation between the inner and the outer. So uh, when you're taking it off, always loosen it up. When you put it on, tighten it back down. Three weeks later. So it's been a few weeks since I picked up my follow-up uh, Giro Aether helmet. Uh, and just like my last one, I love this helmet. Super comfortable, really lightweight. Uh, I haven't ridden with it as much as the Manifest, uh, as much as I would like to, because I I do have a job now. It is eight to five, and sunset in Los Angeles, it's end of September, is getting towards yeah, the 6.30, 6.45 mark, and so I don't like riding on the road at sunset at dusk. Just, it's I don't think it's safe in Los Angeles to ride at dusk. So um, yeah, definitely big endorsement. I really, really like 
the, the top of the line Jira helmets. They are a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for. It's incredibly comfortable. Definitely something to pick up and check out at your local bike stop, bike shop. So until next time, have fun, be safe, and get out there and ride.